Friday and it's also St David's Day so to all my Welsh friends happy St David's Day I wanted to tell you about my breakfast this morning because it was a truly Welsh breakfast my friend Becky who I'm going to be living with next year not Becky that's been on the vlogs but Becky another Becky that I'm living with next year she's Welsh and she cooked us breakfast this morning in true Welsh style I took some photos of the food that we had so I thought I'd talk a bit about that and then talk about some of the traditions behind St David's Day. So for breakfast we were persuaded to try some truly Welsh food. We tried some potato cakes which had potato and flour and eggs and chives in I think. Becky also made cockles with leeks um, which gave them a kind of lemony flavour which was kind of strange considering they're more related to onions. We also tried some lava bread which isn't bread at all, it's just called lava bread for some reason. That's actually made out of seaweed and it's got oatmeal in it as well to kind of pack it out and it was really tasty actually. You wouldn't expect it from the colour and from what it's made of but it was really tasty. We also had some tasty Welsh cakes which are a lot like scones. They've got raisins in them and then you sprinkle sugar over it. You can sandwich them together and make like a jam sandwich with um, Welsh cakes, they're really tasty. I must remember to bring some home with me. Finally, we had some barra breath, which is a lot like the brack that mum makes, the tea brack. It's a sort of a fruit cake and it was really tasty. That was, I think, my favorite thing. Mm. Actually, it's a close run thing between that and the Welsh cakes. As you probably know, one of the symbols for Wales is the daffodil, and I'll get onto that in a minute. But another symbol of the Welsh is the leek, and Becky actually told me the story behind this. Apparently, when the Welsh were fighting the English, St David led them into battle. But so the Welsh wouldn't confuse their army with the English one, St David decided that to signal that they were Welsh, they should strap a leek to their helmet. I'm not quite sure how true this is, but that's what Becky told me and I'm going to roll with it because it's a really cool story. The reason that the daffodil is a symbol of Wales also is that it looks a lot like the leek flower. They use the daffodil because it's a lot easier to come by than the leek. Pretty daffodils to look at. So yeah, that's basically it for my St David's Day celebrations. As you said in your last video, we do need to sort out punishments, as we did confess to each other on the phone last night that we do have to do that. I'm going to try and enlist the help of my flatmates to come up with something, because at the moment I'm completely lost as to what to punish you with. If anyone out there has any suggestions, please help. Other than that, I hope you have a really nice weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!